Hello, everybody. Hey, Don. Hey, Tennille. Happy anniversary. Back at you. Happy anniversary. Yes, today is our one year wedding anniversary. We got married up at the Sheboygan Courthouse last year, this day last year, and then we, uh, my parents were there and we went to the park in Sheboygan where we went swimming those couple times recently and took photos. So that's cool. I mean, we're not doing anything for it. We don't have any means to be able to, but that's okay. At least it's a milestone. And as for how long we've actually been together, that's December 11th, 2014, in case any of you were curious. It will be four years on December 11th of this year. Smokey. You look like a fat blob laying on the wood. <laughs> Did it go well? Yep. Hello. So do you like this weather? Yeah. Made a little pleasant for what little bit of wood I did get today. Yeah, it's a, the Weather Channel app says it's only 73. Humidity is really low, and it's really windy. Yeah. So it feels really good. Yeah, I didn't get much wood today because somebody else was there loading up. He filled up his truck, but he had a really small box on his truck, so... Yeah. So it's all right. It is what it is. Yeah. Got a couple of days worth of wood, so I'm not complaining. A couple of days better, a couple of days worth of wood is better than no days. Yeah. <laughs> so eventually, if I ever can, I need to order this pack of uh, what the heck did they call them? I mean, I know some people call them dead cats, but uh, windscreens, furry windscreens. I saw them on Amazon, and there was a pack of eight for I don't know what it was like. 10 bucks, 15 bucks, something like that, and they're adhesive, and they'll stick right to, right over the two microphones that are on this camera, and at first I thought I would have to buy an external microphone, which there is a plug on this camera for that, and get a windscreen to slip over top of that, and then I was looking at the windscreens, and I saw that <clears throat> I can skip buying a microphone, because they have little dead cats aka windscreens that uh, will stick right to the camera right over the microphones and then you guys won't have to listen to the wind all the time <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing at you. yeah Don's laughing at me but I'm not sure when we can order those but hopefully eventually it's not like they cost a fortune otherwise we don't have much planned today focus camera focus no don't there Maybe I broke the camera. Be pointing it at me. No, but as long as I get the email saying it's there, we have to go to the Sheboygan Walmart tomorrow and pick up Ma's phone case. And then I asked Don if he wanted to go back to the Sheboygan River and catch a whole bunch of those big fish again. Those yeah. sheep's heads, or sheep head? No, sh yeah, sheep's heads. Is it pronounced as sheep's head or sheep head? Sheep's head. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No, I don't know why they call them that. And it was funny because my friend Nikki said in one of her vlogs that she was afraid to watch my vlog about sheep head. It's, it was our sheep said good to eat because she thought I meant decapitated sheep. <laughs> but no, we do not eat decapitated sheep. <laughs> kind of funny. Yeah. My grandma used to make uh, head cheese. Ugh. I haven't seen it in a long time, but when I was a teenager, I used to see that in the store, and it just looked absolutely disgusting. Like somebody flattened out a bunch of guts. Well, all I know is my grandma would take uh, the head, Threw it in the water, boil everything off the head, and went from there. I don't. What remember kind all. of head? I don't recall. I was a little kid at the time, but it, all I know is it smelled just as bad as it sounded. Yeah, I don't want any head cheese. People who like that can have that. I don't want that. Yeah, I'm not sure what kind of head she was using or anything, but I guess it's supposed to be just 
whatever comes off the head from boiling it. Yuck! Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop filming now because I don't want all of you who are watching this to throw up. Because that's pretty damn gross. Yeah. Two mornings ago, at 6.30 in the morning, we were woken up by a humongous crash. Half of the DVDs we had stacked here, here, and they were stacked all the way up there, tipped over and fell all over the place. So I moved them over here so that they can have a corner to lean to because they all leaned that way. And they lean against the corner instead of just falling. So that was definitely not fun that these DVDs were everywhere. Hey, you always come up here to visit the rats. Don't worry, he cannot get in there and eat them. Gizzard used to do that all the time, too. But then he turned weird, and he doesn't come up here and say hi to the rats anymore. You're so cute. Gizzard. Gizzard. Hey, Gizzard. Hi, Gizzard. Aww. Don didn't bring him out here yet to put him on, but he's going to make pork steaks on the grill over wood fire. So that'll be good. And then I'm making mashed potatoes, and I want corn, and he can have whatever vegetable he wants. Don't get too close. You can even see the shadow of the heat waves, so don't get too close, Smokey. And this was Evie's activity of the day, which is a little ridiculous. Right here by the car. You gonna go in there? No, you don't want to go in that hole, do you? Nope, you just want to play with a stone. And here's Tug. I knew you were under there. See, you can't hide. I know your tricks now. I know where you go. Goofball. Yes, loudmouth Evie? Look, now you made the neighbor dog bark. Stop having conversations. Canine conversations all over the neighborhood. Their dinner's done. That's mine. And that's his. Well, dinner was good. And uh, Don made sugar-free pudding for dessert, or he's going to. And we are watching America's Got Talent. That's kind of interesting. Uh, that barrel back there, he's putting all the little pieces of wood in it that will get used for the grill. Uh, otherwise, nothing else is going on tonight, so we're going to say good night. And we hope you enjoyed the video and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. I don't know why you didn't put that where you were going to put it and then fill it. Because I'm putting it over here and I can't get the car up next to it. Oh. Well, anyway, say good night.
no, I will never say goodnight anymore. I'll say goodnight in the morning and I'll say good morning in the night. Alright then. Good night, Evie. Because everybody's always got it backwards, not me. Oh yeah. And we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe we'll go somewhere tomorrow, maybe we won't. Depends on if that uh, phone case arrives at Walmart or not.